Big Pharma doesn't want you to know this, but insulin resistance causes way more heart attacks than fat ever will. You can be thin and still be at risk. Elevated fasting insulin and blood sugar spikes silently damage your arteries years before symptoms show up. And most standard labs completely miss it. I'm Dr. Voss, a longevity doctor with an MD from Cornell. And if you've been told your weight or your cholesterol is fine, but no one's checked your fasting insulin, you might be walking around with silent heart attack risk that nobody's looking for. Here's the truth. Insulin resistance is one of the biggest drivers of heart attacks today. And most people have have no idea that they have it. It's not about body fat alone. You can look lean, have normal cholesterol, and still be metabolically broken. When your cells become resistant to insulin, your pancreas compensates by producing more of it to keep your blood sugar stable. Over time, this insulin excess contributes to chronic inflammation, high blood pressure, elevated triglycerides, and early arterial damage, often years before plaque is detectable. And here's what most doctors miss. You can have a normal fasting glucose and a normal A1C and still be insulin resistant. Why? Because fasting glucose and A1C are lagging indicators. They tell you what's already happened. Fasting insulin is an early warning sign and it's rarely tested. Here's what I look for. Fasting insulin, ideally under eight, HOMA IR score of under one, and a triglyceride to HDL ratio of under 1.5. If these are off, you're already on the path to metabolic dysfunction even if your LDL looks fine. Now here's where it gets wild. Nearly 90% of American adults show early warning signs of metabolic dysfunction. Things like belly fat, elevated triglycerides, and even elevated glucose. And most of them are never told that it's increasing their risk for cardiovascular disease. So what can you do? Start with lifestyle. Prioritize fiber and protein, which can help to blunt sugar spikes. Walk after meals. Get seven to eight hours of sleep a night because that helps enhance your insulin sensitivity. You could also use cold exposure, strength training, or even the right form of berberine to help support your glucose regulation. Insulin resistance is silent until it's not. And it's time we treat blood sugar as the cardiovascular risk factor that it really is. If you have any questions on this, topic, leave it for me in the comments below.